coded. I hope you guys have followed it. Now we can start working and converting our file into a static file. So this is what we have now. You can see this is the entire environment variable of our project. You don't need to do anything in here. Make sure to follow the complete project. You will understand everything. Now we can come back to the contract and I want to show you a couple of things. So this is the entire contract we have coded. This is the entire context management we have built. This is the entire component we have built together in the project. Now what we have to do is make sure to follow the complete playlist. There you will find all the things. So we have more than 10 videos in this particular playlist in which we have built this phenomenal application. Good. Now looks perfect to me. Now I can come back here and we have to do a little bit changes in our packages and files. So we can able to generate our static file. So we can come back here and here we have multiple commands. So we have already tested the development. Now we're going to simply run the build command. So here we have to add one line of extra code. So I'll show you two method, one with build and the other one is with the export modules. So let's start with the build module first. So we'll say and next build. It's going to generate the output folder for us, which we're going to simply deploy to our application. Means the hosting platform. That's the one thing you have to do. Now open up your terminal and now we have to simply run the build command npm run build. And this particular command is going to convert the entire application into a static file. So it's doing the work. Just wait. And here you can see it's completed the entire file into a static file and looks absolutely perfect. You simply ignore this warning. It's just a JavaScript warning file. And here we have finally the process is completed. Now, once you will successfully complete the conversion and generating the static file, you will get this particular out folder in that you will have the entire code of your project, which we're going to deploy. So you will see we have this 404 page. It will automatically generate. We have the HTML, CSS, images, JavaScript. Here we have the active page. Perfect. Save it to format. I'm using prettier in my VS code. That's why the moment I'm saving, it's getting formatted automatically. We have the admin save and it will be formatted automatically. You can see this is the HTML. And this is all the images we have. So we are done with this. Now we have to simply deploy this particular folder to our hosting provider. I'm going to deploy to Netlify, but you can do the exactly the same thing on your cPanel. So simply copy and paste in your cPanel. So this is the folder we're going to deploy. And sometimes you won't see this particular folder because you have that default setup in your VS code. So to change the setup, you can simply come back here, go to the settings. Then you can come and type file. There you will find all the files which you have hidden. So I have hidden all of this file. So that's why files are not reflecting here. And these are my important files. So that's why I'm hiding and not displaying. So make sure if this out folder is hidden, make sure to simply remove it from here and select it and click on this. So it will remove and it will be visible. And this is the folder we're going to deploy. So let's minimize this one. Now we can simply open our browser, open a new tab and type Netlify. N-E-T-I-L-I-F-Y. I hope you guys know what is Netlify. Click on the very first link and make sure to create your account. Try to create your account through GitHub so you can easily able to import all the project which you have in right up here. But I already have my account so I'm going to simply log in and here I'm back into my dashboard and you can see all the project which I have deployed. So these are the project we have built in our complete blockchain development course I have. Make sure to check that. There we have built all of the project and that's what I have deployed. Simply click here and here you will have three options. You can simply import from GitHub. You can simply start with template or you can do the manual deploy where we have generated our static file. So I can simply click on this deploy manually or you can click on this import from GitHub and it will give you three options. You can go with GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket and this DevOps. Perfect. I'll come back here. Click on this and now I have to deploy manual deploy. So I'll click on this, click on this deploy and here I have to simply upload the file. So I'll click on this upload and I have to go back to desktop because I have that particular folder right up here in the starter file. Open this one and this is the folder I have. This is the out folder. Select this one and upload. Click on upload and don't reload your page. Just wait. Once it will deploy successfully, it's going to reflect in your dashboard. So it's uploaded and here you can see the files are uploaded successfully. It looks absolutely incredible. All the things are completed. Now you can simply click on this open production deploy and you will see the back to our code and let's do that changes. So it's pretty easy. I hope you guys can understand that why we are having this issue because when you generate static file, we don't have the body tag and the project we have built in that we haven't included the body tag, but that body tag need the classes. So we have to do the changes. So we can simply come back here and let's come back to the style and there you will find all the classes we have applied and I'm, I'm going to add one more class. So let's come back to the pages go back to the activity 
an admin you can go to any pages and here you can see that we are taking this fragment so we're going to simply convert it into a div and we're going to add a class a background class so let's do one thing we can simply close this one make on the big screen and let's clear our terminal and first let's run the development environment so we'll say npm run dev and you will see it's let's come back to the code close this one close this one close this one now we have to simply come back to the page go back to the index page and here i have to add div and the class so let's call this div it will have a class and we have to add the class so let's come back to the style and let's add a class here so let's go on top this is all the classes we have applied let's come here we'll take a that body background color come here we'll add so paste here you got it now this is the class i have to apply in all the three pages so paste here simply copy come back to the activity replace close the div cut it now we can come back here in the admin admin done like activity done we have to give in the admin so paste here and we have to simply close the div and we have to add in one more places in our header because it has a dynamic color on over effect we have a different color and normal I have a different color so let's come back to our header so this is fine you don't need to do anything in here let's come back to the component go back to the header and here we have to apply just like this as an inline css the reason why we are applying inline css because we have two different classes so make sure to add this and it will work absolutely fine got it now we have to regenerate the out folder so this time we have to make a change in our command so this time we have to call next export earlier we call it build but this time we have to call next export so it can regenerate a new file but if you call build one more time so it's not going to generate the file it will compile it but it will not generate the file a new file so we have to simply call this export close this one now open up untype build and it's going to simply generate the folder it's compiling optimizing and here we got it and finally we have got our out folder and that's all that one updated code now we have to upload one the one more time this particular one so come back here netlify close all of this tabs click on this and i can click on this deploy manually and here i have to simply select the folder click and select the folder and upload and upload so it's uploading once the upload will complete we'll have the product online so we got it our application is deployed successfully now we can come back here click on this add project i hope you guys have follow along with me if you have any question in doubt do let me know in the comment section we have built all of this component this is the context contract and i want to show you one thing come back to the contract and you can see by default i have set for one minute but generally in the industry we follow for one day so make sure to activate this and comment this and activate this so this will take for one day but if you go with the 60 it will take for one second the reason why i have taken one second i have explained extensively because we have to test the contract in one minute i don't want to wait for one day then i can test and deposit the token so that's the that's why i have taken this 60. make sure to change this in all the places and come in the 60 and you can play around with this variable so first build as it is after that test everything after that do the experiment as for your end if you follow and understand everything you will easily able to do modification as per your branding so looks good we are done with that and here i've given you some important information some important links which you can simply have a look you can come to the next resource section there you can click on recent project and this is the ones click here you can get the final source code start a file and you can watch the video in which i have explained that how you have to do the setup when you will get the final source code and you can come back here close this one and everything is good now we can come back to the playlist there is all the videos is about this particular project which you can simply follow it for your convenient i have divided this entire project in different playlists so you can take your time and start building you can come back to the blockchain coder and i have this particular course make sure to take this a lot of students have already enrolled it when you complete that you will become a complete blockchain developer you will learn every single technology which you have to know and you can able to build any application the one which we have built is just going to be a piece of cake for you in this you're going to master complete solidity programming language we have a huge lesson on complete solidity then we're going to build extensive setup for web3 ecosystem then we're going to build one of the biggest project 
that's why i always encourage you that whenever you take any courses take project based actual industry ready project based courses and that's what we have applied here perfect so finally we have done with that project if you have any question any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to help you in that for time being have a wonderful day bye bye